Nitric now hosts hundreds of tools and resources, so how do you find the one that most fits your needs? If you start by clicking on Tools and Resources in the menu, you will get a list of all the tools and resources registered with Nitric. Currently, there are 500. Let's start narrowing this down to find the perfect tool. On the left side of the screen is a list of attributes that may be assigned to Nitric Tools and Resources. The number next to the attribute name is the number of tools and resources classified with that attribute. Let's first limit by domain. Click MR under Domain to limit the results to the 71 tools that are related to magnetic resonance. See that we now have just 71 tools listed. We can reduce the results further by selecting additional attributes. Let's look at tools that are used for displaying images. 17 of the tools related to magnetic resonance are also related to visualization. Six of those are related to image display. If we want to remove an attribute from the search query, simply click the X in front of the attribute name at the top of the search results. So what can you do with these six results? You could look at the general descriptions for each tool, or look at the attributes specified, or other statistics for each tool. If user ratings are important to you, you could sort the list by average overall rating. You may hover over the rating circles to see how many users contributed to the rating. Automatic Registration Toolbox has just three users contributing to its rating, while FSL has 43 users contributing to its rating. One thing that may be helpful in choosing a tool among these is to do a side-by-side -side comparison. You could select each tool individually, but since there are only six, we'll just select all, then click the Compare button. The selected tools are displayed in columns with all their attributes listed below. You can resort the tools here as well, and you can collapse the parent attributes and focus on the ones that are important to you. Maybe you are not sure what data format you plan to use. Focusing on supported data format, MIPAV looks interesting since it supports a number of different data formats. Click on the tool name at the top of its column. Now you are on the tool's main summary page, where you can get its documentation or see what other users are saying about this tool. Look at any information available to determine if this is really the perfect tool for you.